College football all day. We've had uh, a lot of cloud cover, not a ton of rain, which has been good, especially considering we have Moon River going on. But as we take a look at the current setup again, we have low pressure to our south. We have this front approaching from the west and a lot of moisture kind of pumping up out of the Gulf of Mexico. Now, most of the rain is staying off to our east into the Carolinas down into the Gulf Coast. But tonight we'll have a couple of showers sneak back into the region and then tomorrow we're going to be tracking out that cold front that's going to bring additional showers and storms to the Tennessee Valley. But as you can tell right now, the radar is pretty calm. Roadways are dry and things are really looking pretty good for the rest of your Saturday evening and temperatures pretty comfortable. I mean, just a couple weeks ago, we were in the 90s pretty much every day. Today we only topped out in the mid 70s and that's where we stand as of 615 73 in Blue Ridge, 73 in Dalton and 72 in Dayton. Some of our sky watchers calling in. Now we had some rain mainly before daybreak. Lookout Mountain and Mont Eagle both picked up nearly an inch. We had three tenths of an inch in Red Bank and here at North Chattanooga, Don and Trenton also had three tenths of an inch of rain. Same for Ben in Somerville. And again, this comes just nearly a week after record rains in parts of Chattooga County. So fortunately, we haven't had a washout area wide, but we've had some pretty good rain totals. We had four tenths in Chatsworth and Sydney and Riceville also called in with four tenths of an inch of rain. So a good soaker earlier, but as we go through the overnight hours again, a couple additional showers, especially in our eastern communities in places like Murphy, Blue Ridge, Ellis, you're going to have the best chance of rain overnight. And then by the time we wake up Sunday again, we're going to have a warm front to our south, a cold front approaching from the west, and that'll help produce some of those scattered showers throughout the morning. Shouldn't be a washout, but there will be a better chance tomorrow for locally heavy rain, maybe even a few claps of thunder. And then going into the evening as that cold front really starts to approach, we'll have another round of scattered showers. Again, Sunday's not going to be a washout. These storms are going to be very hit or miss. And then after midnight, rain chances start to dwindle here across the Tennessee. Sea Valley, all thanks to the sweeping cold front. This is really going to give us our first taste of fall like weather that we've had so far this year. When that being said, we're still going to be in the 80s, but overnight lows could dip into the 50s both Monday night and even into Tuesday as rain chances dwindle. And after tomorrow, rain chances are going to come at a minimum over the next six to maybe even 10 days. And as we take a look at the rest of your Saturday into Sunday morning, again, about a 20 to 30% chance of a shower by mid morning. Better chance rain, of course, is going to come in on Sunday afternoon and evening. But here's a look at your future cash rainfall through early Monday morning, anywhere from a quarter to a half of an inch. There will be localized spots that pick up over an inch of rain but overall flooding should be much of an issue and really no severe threat. And like I mentioned after tomorrow, I mean, we're looking at a pretty prolonged period of dry weather all the way through next weekend and maybe even beyond. We could be talking no rain for the next six to 10, maybe even 12 days here across the Tennessee Valley as drier air continues to kind of filter in. We're gonna have some pretty strong ridging, which typically promotes dry weather and plenty of sunshine. And that's exactly what we're gonna have moving into next week. Temperatures are gonna be on the cooler side Monday into Tuesday, at least for the southeast standards and then going into the rest of the week back to the mid 80s. But the key here is the drop in humidity. It's going to feel pretty comfortable Monday through Wednesday with dew points back into the 50s. And as for tonight, we'll kind of drop back into the 60s. Cloudy, humid, some scattered showers around, not a huge deal. And then tomorrow, that's when we're going to be tracking out some of those scattered storms. It's going to be cloudy, it's going to be muggy. Temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer in the 80s. Again, tomorrow we're going to have a better chance of a few peaks of shower, or peaks of sunshine, plenty of showers. And then by Monday, we'll have some clearing skies. Notice those overnight lows dipping into the 50s. Plenty of sunshine all of next week with highs in the mid 80s all the way through Saturday. Back to you, Mary Francis.